What up, what up, y'all? Movers, where we at? 7 p.m. Y'all know what it is. It's that Monday night motivation. Where my movers at? 7 p.m. on a Monday. This is how we do it every Monday, y'all. What up? Welcome to the new week. Welcome to a new opportunity to make power moves. Movers, if you feeling me, let me see the comments. Wave, I'm waving back. This is for all my movers out there. Rome, what up? This is a new week, y'all. I got to get this lighting right. It's terrible. We going to figure it out. Yeah, it's Monday. Mondays are hard. Mondays are hard, but we built for it. That's why I do this on a Monday. It's that Monday night motivation. We all need it. Every last one of us, we need this Monday night motivation. Tell me, can y'all see this a little bit better? It look dark. It's dark in here, but it's all good. We're going to get it right. Movers, what up? Every Monday night, we here, 7 p.m. Wednesday night, we here, 7 p.m. Make sure if y'all haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to that YouTube channel. It's so many gems, so many people who are willingly giving up gems for free, not looking for nothing in return. Go ahead and watch those interviews, hook up with those guys on the DM, let them know that their interviews, the stuff that they are just providing for free is making a difference in your journey. That's what this whole thing is about. Who we got in the building? Big Breeze, what up? G Money, I see you. Okay. Yeah, I see people saying that they're subscribed. I'm sorry because I can't read everybody's hand handle. But I see you down there. You know, it's kind of hard to read everybody's handle. Is that, hold up, is that Superstar J? Superstar somebody. I see you, what up? We trying, we gonna get better. When we gonna build this community until it's thousands of us in these lives every Monday. Thousands of us on these lives every Wednesday. Again, y'all, this is each one teach one. I'm just in here trying to inspire and motivate. Say a few words just to get us all started on our week. If you a mover, you need to be here. If you know a mover, invite them to be here. Week over week, this is our thing. This is something we doing for ourselves, and we gonna support each other. Shout to my man, and, and here's it. This is what I'm talking about. Shout to my man, Warrior Mentality. Sent me a care package. Now I bought product. I bought product, but he saw I was wearing it and was like, yo, let me just get that product out there to you. So for anybody out there, go ahead and support each other. Warrior mentality, crazy sports gear. And like I said, I always keep it close to me because I just need to stay in that frame of mind, that whole warrior mentality. So we're going to keep supporting each other. If anything y'all are doing that y'all need me to shout out, anything that, you know, we just need to encourage each other to support let me know. That's why we're here. That is what this community is all about. There is no competition here. We are all working to help one another grow. Nothing more, nothing less. 7 p.m. on Sundays is Motivation Mondays. This is our Power Move Minute. On Wednesdays, we open it up. We open it up to y'all, to where y'all can ask questions. Anything on the business side that y'all want to share, where you at in your journey, that's where you come into this safe space and you ask it without the, the, the whole thought of being ridiculed. You ask it without the fear of being judged. That's what Wednesday night are, are all about for us. TBM Tito, I see you. What up? Definitely TBM Tito, I see you. My heart goes out. Fred the Godson, RIP. We still in here doing it. The Bronx is still here, y'all. But we're going to get started. You know, and I, I try to make these Mondays relatively quick for a reason. 
You know what I'm saying? It, 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 for me, I just want to say something that's encouraging, say something that's inspiring, and then we all get on with our work week. So I, I, I was talking to a few people because I actually had some things that I wanted to get off my chest this week. But then what I noticed, a couple of conversations I'm having, things are just coming up and it's the same thing, just packaged different ways. So what I always try to ask God is number one, that I deliver something that comes across in a way he would want me to say it and also be received by y'all because somebody out there needs to hear something. Somebody out there needs to be encouraged. So just sticking to what's in my heart, I'm never going to get on here and just say something just because it's on my mind. It feels like somebody needs to hear what I'm about to say. So real talk, there is a power, and I mean, it is a true power in keeping your head low and just doing the work and letting your work speak for you. Now, I'm going to say that again slow because somebody needs to hear this. There is a power in keeping your head low, doing the work and letting your work speak for you. And all, you know, throughout my career, I've been a victim of this too, where we want to push the envelope and we want things to happen right now, not now, but right now. And we don't sit and just put our head low and let our work speak for us. And I'm telling y'all, there are so many things that I have done in my career that I've, I, when I look back and I say to myself and I think to myself, if God had given me exactly what I wanted, when I wanted, I'd be out of here. I would be working a nine to five right now, but there is a process. There's a process that you and me alike, we need to trust it. You're not always going to get what you want when you want it. And if you're not getting it when you want it, you need to sit and say to yourself, maybe there's a reason why I'm going down this road. There's something I need to experience. There's somebody I need to meet. There's something I need to do that is going to set me up for something greater in the future. But too often, we want to justify our lack of patience by saying, I'm hungry. We want to sacrifice, we want to justify our lack of being willing to wait and do the work and keeping your head down low and going through the process by saying, I'm ready right now. And you ain't ready. You're not ready. You might think you are, but there's a lot of people out there who think that they were ready long before or thought they were ready long before they actually were. Now I come from the music industry as y'all all know. And I'm going to put it in music terms because there's so many times that I have sat with artists, artists who wanted nothing more than a hit record. And they tell me the same thing again and again. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. And I tell them, slow down. Do you understand what it means to have a hit record? No, Prez, trust me when I tell you I'm ready. I, I, I just want to get out there. I want to get a hit. Well, guess what? There is a life cycle. To being an artist and it's a in, in just so we can just put this in perspective there's a life cycle to success but when you're an artist and you are going in the studio and there are no fans and you're making record after record after record and you're going out and you're learning to perform so you're performing in small clubs and now you get to see firsthand when nobody's watching you what to do on stage, what not to do on stage, what records work, what records don't work. It is a learning process. But then you move from small clubs to maybe now larger clubs. You get that record deal that you always wanted and your records start to bubble. Now you're doing mix show. So it's preparing you. You didn't hit it out the park yet, but you're being prepared for what's going to come. And you're learning that... Making records, 
performing on stage, that is only one part of it. But in your head, all you could think about was the glamour and the glitz. But you got to understand there's a whole other side of this thing that comes with it. And it's the same thing in our lives. Just like as an artist, there's a whole other side. You have to worry about waking up early, going to morning radio, then being in the clubs till late at night, going to the studio and writing for your next hit. There's a reason why I always say trust the process, wait your turn. People do not want to do that and they become what is known as one hit wonders. There's a reason they're one hit wonders because they got exactly what they asked for. And that's what I'm telling y'all. If you are not getting exactly what you're, at, what you're asking God for, trust them anyway. Trust them anyway. There is something that you need to learn. There is an experience you need to go through. Think about people like you don't think designer. One of the biggest records of a few years ago with that Panda record, you don't think designer hoped and prayed for a hit record. It came and he wasn't ready for it because when that demand came with it, when that demand came, yes, now you have a hit record, but we need you to do radio. We need you to tour. We need you to be here. We need you to be there. And in the process, you got to still go back in the studio and write more hit records. Sometimes you're not ready for that. Jadena with Classic Man. Where is he? He prayed. He asked for it. He got it. And he's not here. Not to say he won't get another record. But once you are, are, are out there and you get what you want, it's hard to come back, y'all. So I don't know what it is that y'all are working on. I don't know what business you're in right now. But if you are selling clothes and all you sold this week was one T-shirt, thank God anyway. Thank God anyway. Maybe you needed to learn how to package it up and send it to one person. And have that other person who received your package hit you and say, this package is dope. The packaging is dope. Or maybe not. Maybe they say, yo, my shirt came and it looked like it was in a, 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 a bag that you get from the grocery store. Maybe there's stuff that you need to learn. But I say trust the process. Embrace it when nobody is watching. Embrace it when nobody is saying your name and, and, and saying... You know, you are the next one because this is when you learn. This is when you become the person God, like God is preparing you. Think about building a house. Are you going to build your house if that foundation ain't right? Are you going to build your house? You want to put up a, a high rise, something that everybody can look at and see. Oh my God, that building is incredible. But if it, if the foundation ain't right, if the foundation, you didn't take your time and put it right, that building's coming down. And I'm just asking y'all right now, wherever you are in your process, I don't care what it is you're selling. I don't care what your service is. Trust the process. Trust the process. How can I get here and speak to you all? How can I sit in front of y'all right this second? If I didn't go through failure after failure after failure trying to get in the music industry. But when I got in, I was ready. Once I was in the music industry, if I hadn't been on the street team and then ran the national street team, then had a staff internally, people that came to me look for answers and me learning how to be a boss. How can I go out there and start Power Moves Inc.? If I didn't do Power Moves Inc. and get all of the different relationships with the DJs and all of the different people we work with, with the brands, how can I do Global Spin Awards? And had I not done that, how can I have 20 plus years of experience that I can come and tell y'all? It's okay to wait. It's okay to keep your head down. And let your work speak for itself. Because when you are as dope, as dope as you think you are, you're not going to have to tell nobody. They're going to tell you. You're not going to have to tell somebody, notice me. That's when your phone is going to be ringing. You're not going to have to tell somebody, I'm the next one. 
they are going to be posting and saying, watch out for him, watch out for her. So please, and again, like I said, this was nece not necessarily something that I even thought about talking to you guys about today until this kept coming up in my life. But I need y'all to understand there is so much power in just being patient and trusting the process. That's what we have to do. It is Monday, December 7th, December 7th. And I know some of us are sitting here and we're stressed because we're looking over this year and we are not exactly where we thought we were going to be by the time the year closed out. We're sitting and we're saying to ourselves, damn, nothing is happening. But the question is, can you stick to the process when there's nothing happening? Can you look over your life and identify all of the different blessings, although your career might not be exactly where you think it should be? Can you identify all of the blessings that you have obtained over this past year? Can you say I've grown in this area? I've learned this about my business. I've learned that about my business. I'm what, way further ahead than I was. Can you say that? Can you give thanks when there's nothing happening that maybe the world sees, but you can see? You know, I sit and I think about myself and you know, I'm very transparent with y'all. I started off this year with no Instagram followers, zero. Coming up on 3,500. Do I have 350,000? No. But I give thanks because there is movement. There is movement. And I understand maybe if I had 350,000 followers right now and this Instagram live was flooded, people would be like, yo, I don't want to hear what he got to say. He don't have his spiel down pat. He ain't yet ready for the big stage. But I've been doing this thing long enough that I understand just like somebody once told me, I am going to tell you just because there's more to climb doesn't mean you haven't risen. I'm going to say that again because I know it went over some of y'all's head. Just because there's more to climb doesn't mean you haven't risen. So the next time you find yourself feeling sorry for yourself, the next time you looking at your bank account and it ain't where you want it to be, the next time you looking at your business website and people ain't hitting it at the, at the level you think it should be, the next time that you are sitting around and your phone ain't ringing off the hook because people want to use your services or buy your goods and products. Think of all of the blessings, how far you have come so that when your phone is ringing off the hook, when you cannot put your phone down because it's blowing up, all kinds of people are DMing you. The demand is on you so great that you cannot even put the phone down. That's what all of this is about. It's preparing you. It's preparing you for the day. It really is. It's preparing you for the day when you are going to be great, when your name is gonna be in demand. It's preparing you for that day that although you think you're ready for it now, you're not, but that day is coming and embrace what you're going through now. Just because there's more to climb don't mean you haven't risen. Peace and love, y'all. Come back on Wednesday night. This is just a quick thought for y'all, real talk. I just wanted to get this off my chest. We got greatness in us. We got greatness in us even when people, even when we don't think people's watching. Prepare your foundation. Work on your foundation. Don't worry that your name ain't up in lights yet. Don't worry that your brand ain't a household name yet. Don't worry about that. It's coming. Put in the work. Keep your head low. There's power in that. 
Wednesday nights, 7 p.m., that's when we're going to open it up to everybody. That's when we're going to open the floor up. And here's another thing, guys. If there's any topics y'all want me to speak on, any topics that y'all want me to address, please DM me. Let me know. If there's anything, especially on a Wednesday night, that y'all want an expert friend of mine to come in, whether it's in real estate, music industry, what, what, whatever the industry might be, DM me and let me know. This is our community. This Power Move community, this is ours. And when there's thousands of millions of people in this community, just know y'all are the ones who started it. It's y'all. This is about us. It ain't about prayers. This is about us. This is our safe space. And this is where we are going to come. And I promise y'all, we are all going to hold hands and we're going to pray and we're going to build each other up and we're going to see each other at the top. Peace and love, y'all. See y'all Wednesday at 7 p.m. Let me see. Any comments down here before I break out? I see people waving. I see a lot going on. So we're going to leave it there. And here's the deal, right? Real talk, and it's just something about, it just goes to what I was I was saying earlier in the conversation. When we started this Power Move Maker Monday, this, this, this whole Power Move Minute, I don't even know if we had 10 people, 10 people in here. Here we are three weeks later, and I'm looking and we averaging 20 plus. We averaging 20 plus. Stay focused on your dream. Stay focused on your dream. Embrace what's happening in your life now, knowing that it's setting you up for something greater tomorrow. Keep telling a friend to tell a friend. I love y'all. Peace and love. And keep making power moves to all my movers. One love.